Hi, and welcome back to Beauty from Inside and Out. My name is Lisa Galloway, and I am so always excited to be here and share with you more tips on being able to give us our best confidence with makeup. And this week, I am targeting on this amazing, revolutionary color theory with what's called a demi color corrector. Now, I've got the sun that's kind of coming in, so I hope that that's not much of a distraction for you today. <laughs> but it's the only kind of time a day I had to film. And so, my, minus the sunlight coming in through the blinds. Anyways, the whole point is that you can still see my face. Now, what I want to share with you is a different way of putting on your makeup. And hear me out, okay? This is not going to be um, for everybody. I honestly, and everyone has their own opinion about this, but I honestly believe, for me, that if you have a lot of distractions, and I love to say distractions because it's not like it's, there's anything wrong with our faces. It's just what we personally feel like I like to take care of that when I'm putting on my makeup. Like I want to have that be not my focal attention, right? When somebody's looking at me. For example, if I have like a zit, I want to try to get that zit out of the way so that it's not the focal point of what someone is looking at when they're looking and they're talking to me. So I personally have a lot of issues with what's called hyperpigmentation, right? Dark spots, aging spots, sunspots, melasma, you, you name it. That is hyperpigmentation. When you have a pimple that has now scarred and eventually it scabs, that's a hyperpigmentation, okay? That is going to be some kind of discoloring on your face. And I have tons of it, okay? So I personally, being barefaced with you this right now, I wouldn't go in specifically with this color theory and it says and I mean color theory because that's how it is I don't want a mirror to blind you but this little color wheel here is what makes this so unique um, and you have all these different colors that are going to help with specifically an issue that you're having now kind of going back to what I said about my face. I have a whole lot of different areas that I have like darker areas. So for me, I would re rather use cream makeup through Saint. But if I wanted to use the cream makeup to kind of even out my tone on my face, but then go in maybe with around my eyes because my skin is clearly mature skin. I don't wanna necessarily go in with any kind of makeup, like let's say under my eyes, to avoid any kind of texture. This is when this comes in handy, okay? So that for me is a key person that can use that. The other would be a young girl who's going through clearly all kinds of changes with acne. And so you don't want her necessarily to like wear makeup, right? A lot of makeup. So you want to maybe have her remove some of those pimples, whether they're starting out and they're really hot red, or now it's left some kind of a scab and now it's just like this dark area on her face. And and she's feeling less, a little less confident about herself, right? But you don't necessarily want her to wear makeup that's who can actually wear this. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit more in detail how that works. So if that sounds like something that's kind of interesting to you and you've never heard this before, keep watching and I think you'll 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 find For it the sake of time because I don't want this to be like a 35 40 minute video. I have placed on like my foundation which are called highlights with the Saint makeup, okay? Um, but what I did was I left, and you can see how I have this darker area, right? Right in the corner of my eyes, which I would normally can take care of with cream. But if I don't 
once again, as I mentioned about having texture under my eyes, I would rather go in then with as minimal of makeup as possible. So I've got this glare in my face. <laughs> okay, so how this whole works is that we, we, this is based on a color theory. Now, when you think about the colors on your faces, I know this is really, really hard to understand when you don't know the back end of it, like I do, which is why I'm here to help you. And you don't have to really understand all this, but I love to explain it because I think that when you explain something, you process it differently in your mind and you then understand the why. Does that make sense? So you don't really necessarily need to understand this, but if you know it, it makes more sense. Okay, and this is again what I get to do when I am doing a color match for you if you're wanting to mix some cream and use the Demi color corrector. So basically, it has all these different shades, all these different colors. But like I said before about going in with looking at our faces and saying, okay, what, what color is this? If you look at it initially, you're just going to say, well, this is just like a brown. It looks like it looks brown. It looks dark and it looks dark brown. But our colors are really based on whether it's like a red, hot red, whether it's an actual undertone of like blue green, kind of like your veins, right? And when I look at that color, I look and I see blues and greens, even though initially that's not what you're gonna say you're gonna see. I'm already accustomed to that that's the shade that I want to contrast against the wheel, like I mentioned before about this wheel. So here I have the wheel. If if I'm dealing with something that has that blue green color, I'm gonna go across the wheel. And I need to get a color that's going to contrast that color. So in my case, it would have to be orange yellow. That's when I pick up my shade to deal with this area, which is this one here. And in the back of the tin, it has the actual color of what you need. So in that case, that would be an OY1, orange yellow one. I'm taking that color and I'm going to then place as very little product on and in that area. So I'm taking one of our brushes that belongs to this particular Demi color corrector. And the whole point is to use a very small brush and take then just a tiny bit of that product and then going in and dealing with that dark area, okay? And I love to build I have the same theory when I am putting on like my cream makeup. I don't like to put too much. I'd rather go in a little at a little at a time and build it versus then having to feel like I'm having to blend too much of it out. So always keep in mind of the less is more theory. It really does make a difference. So again, I am going in here to neutralize that darkness that's in that inner corner of my eye. And with the other ends, I'm just pressing and kind of like spreading that out in that area. But again, I'm going in there with very little and I can keep putting on a little more and adjusting as I go, but I don't wanna go in immediately with too much. Because the other thing about this semi-corrector is that if you go if I, if I were to take this color and place it outside of where that dark area is, then it's going to create another issue outside of that area that I'm trying to work with. And then it feels like it's out of control. Does it make sense? <laughs> and you can use also the back of um, the tip, uh, your finger if you'd like to kind of like just tap that in instead of using like the back end of the fluffy end of the brush. But you can see how, in comparison to how it looked like before, I don't have that dark shadow now 
making that indentation where my eye is, right? Our eyes usually will give a lot of our, will show a lot of our age. And I've always said that the more makeup you put under your eye or around your eye is going to then bring out more of the problems that you're having. And I can do the same thing if I had an issue with having that dark area underneath directly my eye, I can do the same thing with this Demi corrector. And so you can see how it just doesn't look now like it did initially. And that's how the whole color theory works. Also, it would go with the same thing if I was dealing with like a red hot fiery red pimple, right? You know, the whole thing of just avoiding to pop it is just going to make it worse, but you don't want it to necessarily be there, right? It would be the same thing. In that case, I'm looking at truly red, okay? And if that's the case, then you're going in with the same thing, opposite of what the wheel shows, right? If you're going with a red and you're going opposite, and then you're gonna go in with like, instead of it being orange, it would be like a yellow or a green. So I know it's a little bit, um, it seems like it's complicated, but it's really the best way to have on your minimal makeup. And if that sounds like something that sounds intriguing and you wanna know more information, leave it in the comments and I can explain more and go even more into detail with more of the color corrector. Okay, um, hope that helps you with explaining a little bit of the color theory about wearing minimal makeup if that's your choice. And if it is that you don't have all of the issues as I do, and you wanna go ahead and give it a try, and you wanna have on at least makeup, reach out to me, tell me Demi color corrector, or just Demi, and I'll go ahead and send you some information. All right, until next week, catch you later, bye.